What is going on guys? Live from episode 60 I think now. Oh my god, I cannot see that guy. But a few things I'm going to talk about. You probably all know what happened at E3. And that PS4, well, Sony, have brought the, has partnered with Act Activision. So they've pretty much brought the rights to Call of Duty. Unless Xbox and Microsoft buy the rights to competitive. It's probably going to switch over to PS4. Which... I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I think it's a good thing, obviously, because it's a it's a change and it's a different console. It's been on Xbox for a number of years now, when PlayStation console users uh, are pretty left out in that region. They will be getting the maps of the DLC a month early than PC and Xbox, just like we used to get it. Um, so that no longer is going to be a benefit for Xbox. But to be fair, if you actually take a step, a sit back, and you know, you just realise how shit the Xbox One is. Like, yeah, I know that we're finally going to be be able to play um, Xbox 360 games on it, but that should have happened on the day it came out, really, because like the dashboard is so confusing. Barely anyone knows how to do like anything on it. And the PS4 is a better graphics console anyway, and there really has been no complaints, no bad things realistically said about the PlayStation, other than now PlayStation users have to pay for Xbox Pop for PlayStation Live, I don't know what they call it, but Xbox users have had to do that like since the beginning. So I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference people switch over to PlayStation. Um, I think it's a good thing for PlayStation, to be honest. Like, I feel, I feel like a lot more people are now just gonna play PlayStation, and even though everyone, a lot of people do favour Microsoft and Xbox, um, but it's always a debate. The controllers are completely different, and to be honest, the Xbox One controller was, you know, it was supposed to be built for fitting in a hand, but. Yeah, it fits for people who've got like sort of big manly hands or whatnot, but it's really not a good controller. It's just fat and clunky, and that guy somehow didn't die. Um, so I'm not. To be fair, the more you sit back and think about it, the more downfalls there are on this on the Xbox. Um, I don't know myself whether I'll be getting a PS4. I can't really see it myself, to be honest. Just for the simple fact that, you know, I can't really be bothered to just buy a PS4. I've literally had my Xbox One for about four weeks, so I don't know if I'm going to buy one, but I might. Um, but if it's if, if Microsoft or Xbox do buy the rights for competitive quality, then that will be, that'll be fine anyway. That's so shit. Literally, I just, this is my second game on, in my first game it felt like I had an aimbot. I don't really know why, I was just literally just, just melting. And Microsoft have released obviously that new Elite controller, and I found, what the fuck? And I found out the price is $129.99, so it's actually more expensive than a scuff. And personally, I think scuffs are better. Um, so, I... It's, it's just one of those where it's just personal opinion. I have so lost this map. I'm just being absolutely destroyed from every angle. I played the exact same guys last game. It's just Detroit free for all is so fucking shit. What an absolute freak. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, I've already said, you know, I don't actually think that it's going to be a bad thing in any way, really, moving over to PS4. Just obviously a lot of Xbox users you know, don't like PS4, and if they do follow competitive, you know, they're going to be a bit annoyed. But we don't know if Microsoft or Xbox will buy the rights for it. So if they do, then competitive will be safe on Xbox. But the controllers on PS4 aren't that bad either. A lot of people think that the controllers are really like small and whatnot, but they're a lot better than the PS. Oh my god, I've actually been punched this game like a hundred fucking times. So bloody annoying. I think the controllers are are quite good. Like naturally, 
my thumbs when I hold, like, put my hands in a controller position. Like, one's just higher than the other, just because that's what I'm used to. But it would only take a matter of days to get used to a controller. I mean, the Xbox 360 was probably the best console, best controller as well. And when I brought my Xbox One, it took me literally like two or three days to adjust. And I was like, oh my god, these kids just don't die. I've been sponged all game. But I need an an intro. Oh well, I see. I don't really need an outro because I I use my face cam, which is pretty cool. But I need an intro. Like, but I just think it would make my videos a little bit more personal, or so like. It's just a single branding that I can just carry on to all my other videos. So, I mean, everyone knows what an intro is. Are you taking the piss? What? I just had no bullet registration. Like, none of this was happening last game. I was just absolutely destroying everyone. Now, okay, that, oh, for fuck's sake, I hate that guy who's just running around with the MP11. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. And, uh, subscribe is always appreciated if you are new around here. I did play like absolute shit in that game, so it wasn't the best gameplay, but it's just realistically just getting the news across to you, so yeah.